Hey guys, Gab here, Gab707 from Team Zero Thrust. I'm doing a little follow-up video on these DYS motors, these uh, MR2205 2750KV motors, racer edition that we got from uh, Mini Quad Squad MQS. Um, maybe you saw Ryan's video, I'll be put, posting the link in the descri description. Uh, these motors come in a nice little packaging where you get like extra screws and nuts and you even get a, like a real wrench to tie the nuts. Um, we've been testing these motors now on uh, with different props. We've been using these uh, four inch props. Ryan's been testing that. He's been loving the power that he gets out of them. Um, I've been testing them on five inch. I was actually initially expecting them to overheat. Usually that's what happens with these high KV motors. They tend to be very inefficient. But these are surprisingly efficient. I was using first two blade props, not really seeing any cutout on flight times compared to 2300 KV motors. And then lately I've been using them on tri-blades and they really scream with those. Um, so we haven't done any actual thrust tests. There, is, there are people who... Uh, we know better there's going to be a, uh, a little link there in the description also you can check out some thrust tests and uh, these motors yeah seem quite quite impressive in the numbers and flying them we've been really loving them i've been flying them with my uh mocha berserker um, this is one of my old builds yeah, it's got a naze board in there um, i'm using uh rotor geeks uh, 20 amp pscs and yeah i'm really loving the power that i get out of these i'll be posting some flight footage at the end uh, one where the uh, a E-cam, where I'm um, flying uh, these props, and then some, there's some DVR at the end from the last few days where I've been practicing for races, so uh, no HD camera on there, but using those tri-blades, and it really screams, I really love it. So I'm by no means an expert in brushless motors, but from what I've read, and uh, you know, please comment in the, in the description if you know better, um, it's really the number of turns that determines the characteristics of your motor. Uh, the number of turns will determine how much torque you have and uh, the RPM at which the motor will spin. Uh, once that's set, uh, you then need to decide on the thickness of your wiring. So uh, usually what you want to do is cover your tooth with as much possible, as much copper as you can. So you can either run thick wires or uh, thinner wires. If you look at, for example, the DYS motors, they seem to have a nice thick wire. Uh, and I've read also it's a single strand, so that means that each one of the tooth the teeth has one one wire that essentially wraps around the the whole thing um, if you look at these uh, other competitive competing motors these are for example the um, the 2205 uh, 2350 kV motors from RCX these are my go-to motors that I tend to use all the time I really like them I've been using them for quite a while and I'll keep using them um, they have they tend to have a much thinner wiring and essentially to make the same number of turns and to fill, to have a maximum amount of copper, they will tend to use uh, multiple strands uh, together, thinner, and then just wrap that all the way around. Um, I think the reason why they do that is uh, because the manufacturing is just much easier. You can essentially mess up, with thin wire, you can just mess up the wiring, like have it go all over the show, and uh, it will still fill up the space nicely. But if you have really thick wire, um, you need to be very careful to slot each one of the the wire of the wires between the the grooves of the the layer that you had before. So um, yeah, props off to DYS for having done that. Uh, generally, a thicker wires are better because uh, the internal resistance of the wire goes down, and uh, joule heating goes like uh, the current times the resistance squared. So if you bring the resistance down, well, your wire will heat up less. So I guess this is one of the reasons maybe why. These um, these motors can take the high loads of uh, five inch props and not overheat at all and be very efficient. Maybe because of these uh, nice thick wires. So yeah, again, props off to them. Looks like a really solid motors. Um, so the rest of the video is just going to be some flight footage. Um, well, enjoy the flight footage. I hope uh, you maybe learned something, and I hope this uh, this helps you. Take care.